The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes is a prequel movie to The Hunger Games and is adapted from the book of the same name by Suzanne Collins. It is directed by Francis Lawrence who helmed the last three movies of The Hunger Games and stars Tom Blythe, Rachel Zegler, Peter Dinklage, Jason Schwartzman, Hunter Schaefer, Josh Andres Rivera, and Viola Davis. It is based on the younger days of Corio, a.k.a. the sadistic president Coriolana Snow when he was just a school student and on the brink of being thrown out on the streets. His family is not faring well after the war and his only hope is to win the expensive prize for mentoring the best tribute at the 10th Hunger Games. He is assigned the District 12 female tribute Lucy Gray Baird who is more into singing and theatrics than killing and violence. As he tries to figure out how to save her and himself with limited resources, he starts falling for her. But the ending leaves us with more questions than answers, and we've taken it upon ourselves to figure out the ending as much as we can. Why is Sejanus Plinth killed? Corio gives a grand speech on how Sejanus can do good with his money if he is alive to get him out of the arena. This inspires Sejanus to follow Corio to District 12, hoping to work from within to help the districts. He starts working with some of the rebels who want to escape Paynham. It is harmless as he hopes no one gets hurt as he is giving them money to buy passage out. Unfortunately for him, Corio believes that Sejanus is bound to be caught and while his father can save him, Corio will be killed for being associated with a rebel like Sejanus. Corio betrays his friend by recording their conversation where Sejanus is trying to explain himself to Corio on a jabberjay which is to be sent to Gaul's lab. The capital is alerted and to make an example, publicly executes the rebels mentioned in the